Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. What are you up to now? Closer. This stairwell looks promising. Huh. This I looks like the portrait from the map. Careful. Now where's the treasure? Oh, you miserable. Oh, gave me the fright of my life, you did. Akio! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Nothing beats a leisurely evening flight. 
Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to? They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise. I suspected you would see something. Should we... That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Zas! But, Professor... We have no choice. It... I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian, there you are. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book.
Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> Pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. My robes are going to reap from Gareth inspiration.
Yes. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Off on another adventure. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid! Nobody will listen to one of these little students. Ready to scurry back to Hogwarts? Whoa! Whoa! Come up all you want! Grave. How long are we doing this thing? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. Ha ha! Time to teach! We can hold them all! I'm not going anywhere with you. You can't go! Oh, no. 
has just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. C hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Best get moving on my research before they return. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Sweet. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Incendio! The flames make the pyres sink. Day. I can hardly believe it. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However... Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. And do be careful out here. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes. Rebellion. Oh, wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the Minister for Magic, I think. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Eldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and... Most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. 
My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day, and the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. Rebellion. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. I wonder who lives here? Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Come now, don't be stingy. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible. But I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. What 
a horrible story. If you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dorr and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jack Dorr's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step. I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for Careful such monsters. Around, eh? Been here a lot longer than the rest of it. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you. You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know at Hogwarts. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally? Come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs! Hogs! Field! Field! Ruins house! A vault concealed! A vault? In some ruins? Near Upper Hogsfield? I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look! Can't hurt to look! Go find the pages from your book! Helen! Helen! No, you're here! Coming closer, be a dear. Uh, 
What is it, Anne? Now, you have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Source indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. It's like a place right out of a store. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's going to hand in his disappearance. Hmm, a map. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Hmm, seems a pleasant enough little place. I should investigate. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. No, that's not it. No wonder I never found that clue. No. <laughs> How did you do this, Jackdaw? Akio! Ah. Ah, I see how this goes. Revelio. Incendio! Accio! Revelio! You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Revelio. Jackdaw. Anne never found it. 
So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? This looks intriguing. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been travelling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. Thank you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Lumos. The treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Let's go. Let's go. 
Lumos. Here I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. <laughs> Why can't I hit you? Expelliarmus! When are you going to give up? An utterly pitiful display! Expelliarmus! Protection! Get him out of the Stop it! I won't rest. Attack you. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Expelliarmus! Let me answer. Expelliarmus. 
Expelliarmus! This magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability to see traces of ancient magic yes sir i do as you have likely realized by now our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic we can access expressions of magic that few others can opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent do not squander them i won't professor thank you we have pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I've always said that travel... studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom.
Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This... Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in ah. the courtyard. <sighs> Do I think take I'm care. The, hang of this. the brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more... What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good! I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. Ah. Ah, that wasn't too bad. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But... Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Follow me. And where have you two been? Class is finished for the day. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. How am I meant to concentrate on potions when Professor Sharp is so intimidating? myself scurrying. Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. 
You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you.